it makes a place feel like home yeah. when you have a piano in it. Um, and fortunately, people do feel comfortable enough to just sit down and, and play. This piano probably come from Tyra's auction, you think? Probably, or, or an estate sale of some kind. Or... If I had to guess, I would say Tyra's, because she was pretty savvy. Um, or if she let someone know she was looking for a particular piano. Carol Newell was an, a very savvy buyer of eclectic furniture, uh, meaningful to the area furniture, period pieces. She would come away from tires with just the treasures all the time and lots of stuff too, <laughs> lots of other stuff. <laughs> Um, but really, I mean, Jen, you know the story of the, the large tables, one right? One of the big tables is from the Rockwell House Hotel because if you pull the drawer out, it says it in there. Um, Carol said that the, the green and white uh, upholstered chairs were possibly from a shoe store that was on Glen Street. played a beautiful night of jazz for uh, Christopher Baldwin's opening. That's the artist that we have hanging right now. Nancy Vonick, who was one of our oh, regular customers. Yeah. Um, I have beautiful pictures of Nancy playing uh, with a little girl standing right next to her, watching her play. And it just, you know, it was one of those times where you knew it was this special interaction between the two of them and special for us here, you know, to have her playing and have this little girl that she didn't know. They were, she was just in the with her mom. Uh, and so from the whole song, it's called The Vegetarian Love Song. <laughs> Because I keep wishing that you 